Hey there, Missy Nikovich at Nystrom & Associates, psychotherapist and facilitator of adult day treatment here in Otsego, Minnesota. In our adult day treatment program, we pair group therapy with um, skill building. Some of the skills that we work on are boundaries, assertive communication, and other coping skills. In fact, we're just wrapping up our last week on emotional intelligence, which brings me to why I'm talking to you today. In response to COVID-19 and quarantine time, I am receiving an increase, increase in feedback of awareness to emotion, emotional eating. So today I wanna to talk to you about emotional eating, specifically attuning our emotions to our physical urges. Now, most of us don't have a barrier to responding to our physical urges like we do with hunger. So we're gonna use a scale, one to 10, one being low, 10 being high. We wanna get in that goal zone where we're responding to hunger four to six, just like we would with other physical urges. Now, when we find ourselves responding to hunger in that side of nine to 10, the high end, um, even seven, eight, that we are responding to hunger, we know through research that we are much more likely to consume more calories than what we may have otherwise intended overeating. Now, if we respond to hunger, or we think we're responding to hunger, in the lower end, we're eating when we're actually around a one to three, we're not really physically hungry. Here's a clue that we might be emotionally eating. So we wanna look at what some of those most common emotions are found when we're eating in that one to three zone. The feedback that I have been given is that some of those most common emotions are exhaustion, boredom, loneliness and anxiety. So we wanna look at alternative methods to feed those emotions other than hunger. If we're experiencing boredom, this tells us that we are craving creativity and exploration. If we're experiencing exhaustion, this tells us we need rest, we're tired. So maybe making a hot cup of tea, a warm fuzzy blanket, a bath, those are gonna be ways to feed exhaustion other than through hunger or food. If we're experiencing anxiety, this tells us that we have fear and worry, but we also know that fear is the birthplace of wisdom. So this may be an opportunity to feed our anxiety with research, or maybe we've just got some pent up energy and we need to go out for a brisk walk to feed that anxious uh, emotion. If we are experiencing loneliness, this tells us we need connection, that we are craving connection. Things like reminiscing and nostalgia can help feed that in other means other than food. Simply looking through a photo book and then pausing and waiting five minutes to see, do we still want that piece of food? Or did our need for connection get satisfied through looking through pictures? That might be an alternative. I wanna hear from you guys in your comments on emotions that you find yourself emotionally eating and tips and go-tos on how you can feed those emotions in other ways other than food. Thanks for listening. Missy Nikovich at Nystrom & Associates.